Now the word theater is a current English word, but of course it comes from ancient Greek, as many of our English words do. And in original ancient Greek, theatron meant not just the space where plays happened, but also the audience. And that, I think, gives you a bit of a clue that ancient drama, another Greek word, was interactive. In other words, it wasn't simply what went on on the stage, in the open air, in the hours of daylight, of course, no closed theatres in ancient Greece, but what went on between the audience and the actors and the chorus, the dancers, the singers on the stage. And this is one of the actually uh, almost direct legacies from ancient Greece to us, obviously through the Romans, through the Renaissance, through Shakespeare, and then ultimately to us. Theatre is something that we consider to be quite natural. But if you think back to when it was actually invented, uh, it had never happened before. It's a very peculiar, in a way, a very particular form of human interaction, representing fictional characters, not just humans, but also gods, and actually seeing them moving, speaking, living in front of you on the stage. And the Greek word for a stage, skini, gives us our word scene. And we use scene in all sorts of metaphorical senses as well as the dramatic. Another instance of just how closely implicated ancient Greek theatre and drama are with our own culture.